Hey Grade 1, 2, welcome to Art. We are continuing to learn about Surrealism and Abstract Art. I want to introduce you to an artist called René Magritte, and he is a Belgium artist, um, and he created a very, very famous artwork called The False Mirror. It's a Surrealist artwork, and I'm about to put up a photo to show you of this particular artwork called The False Mirror. In René Marguerite's work, The False Mirror, he created a large eye and it is said to be a window into his mind and a way to express his imagination. What a perfect way to express surrealism in an art form. We are creating our own false mirror picture. So in your take home pack, I have made you a, a simple eye. Okay, so you need to find this. If you don't have your take home pack, you can also just draw an eye shape. There is an, a, there is a up and a down, so a top and a bottom of this picture. The top is the one with more space because this is where your eyelashes are going to go. Down here, we don't need as much space. So make sure that we've got lots of space at the top so we can add our eyelashes. Let's talk about the features of an eye. We have eyelashes both on the top and the bottom of our eyelids. We also have the pupil, which is the black dot inside our eye. We have the iris, which is the coloured circle around the pupil. People have lots of different coloured irises. You might notice that some people's iris is blue, some is green, some are brown. And then we have something called the sclera. This is the white part of the eye. Have a look in the mirror and see if you can find all of these parts in your own eye. What colour is your iris? Your task today, Grade 1 2, is to create a false mirror inspired artwork. Now, we are going to start by putting eyelashes on our artwork, and we are also going to make the iris on the inside. So, you are going to draw a nice big circle, make it really big. I have added my eyelashes, big on the top and small on the bottom. I've done one curved line of my iris on this side and I'm going to finish by doing another curved line on this side. And can you identify what is missing in my eye? We don't have a pupil yet, so you need to go ahead and create a circle in the middle of your eye, which is the pupil. I have added my pupil, so now I've got all of the features of my eye. I've got eyelashes, pupil, iris, and sclera. So what I need to do now is I need to think about the artwork that we were looking at called the false mirror. What we are doing is we are creating a picture inside of our eye iris here. Okay, and now this picture is a surrealist picture, so it's okay if it doesn't make sense. It's a picture from your imagination. So I'm going to go ahead and slowly add some details of something that maybe I wouldn't necessarily actually look at. So it's okay if it's a detailed picture of something from your imagination, a made up word, something that you wouldn't necessarily see in real life. I have decorated the inside of my eye with an imaginary space scene. Uh, so I've created some creatures here and I have used the center, my pupil here as a bit of a sun. I've created a spaceship here, an asteroid, stars and a moon. And now I'm going to add colour. Now I don't want you to colour this part here, we're just colouring the inside. Okay, nice and bright colours, just like the false mirror used. If you have time, you can paint the outside, or sorry, paint or colour the outside, but see how you go for time. What I'm looking for, so here is my final uh, false mirror image grade one two and you can see that I've used my imagination to color the inside I've used a combination of textures pencils and watercolors use whatever you have available uh, and just like uh, Rene Marguerite I have used my understanding of surrealism which is being able to create an artwork that is from our imaginations maybe doesn't make sense not from this world to finish my false mirror image. Finally, here's another example, grade one, two. I love this project so much. I did another false mirror image and you can see that I've got a goose duck kind of um, picture and I've used the pupil in the center as the eyeball. Okay, now I've used paint here and I've used a little too much water and it started to bleed. So just be careful if you're using watercolor paint. If you're using pencils or textures, you won't have that problem. Can't wait to see your pictures. Make sure you upload an image to Google Classroom. Bye.